I'm not. No. I'm not. No. Fine. My cape's falling off. I can't reach. I can't reach. No, it's too undo it. Is it on? Yeah. Still not doing a video like this. You face it again. It's off. Oh. Unbelievable. It's so, it's so beautiful. Oh, to the kick. To the kick. To the good kick. Now that is super sorted. Bloody spout. Ah, that's a crappy spout. Don't bloody ask about the Superman. I don't don't normally dress like that, especially in the, uh, you know, I don't think any woman would want that. Right, serious business, supper. And this is my bloody supper. This is my supper. Sweet potato, I'm gonna do some sweet potato wedges in a curry sauce uh, with some nice, Chicken, grilled chicken. I don't know, maybe grilled chicken or maybe sauteed chicken. I don't know, but very, very simple. Curry sauce, um, oven baked um, sweet potato wedges. I used to bloody hate sweet potatoes. But you know, it's very big in the South. I'm in the South. Uh, sweet potato pie is too sweet for me, but I do like sweet potatoes with smoked paprika. So sweet potato wedges, curry sauce, chicken. Let's crack up. First things first, we're gonna cut these into wedges and we're gonna peel them. Can't be asked to get a peeler. These be smoked paprika, these be curry powder, a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, these are amazing. I've been having these three nights on the trot with a little bit of salad. Beautiful. Let's cut these into fairly large wedges. Something like that size, big bastards. Right, so get them all in the tray. Are these gonna fit? I'll make them fit. I swear to God, next door must have a rhinoceros because they bang like mofos. Right, olive oil, plenty of that in. Curry powder, nothing wrong with curry powder. So get that in. Just a light sprinkle. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Shit. And give all that a good old mix. Right, they go in the oven for 75 until uh, done. I love a good curry sauce, and I like raisins in my curry sauce. They're a great sweetness, and I think that's why I like sweet potatoes with curry sauce because they also add a fantastic sweetness. All right, let's make this quick curry sauce. Eh, it's not quick, but uh, is it? I, I don't know, no idea. All right, got some spices and stuff. We've got some ground allspice. I'm not gonna name them, I'm just gonna put them in. So what we need, hot pan, get that hot. It's hot. It's a bloody spoon. A little bit of curry powder. I've only got curry powder. Uh, you can use garam masala, turmeric, um, but I'm gonna add some curry powder in there. Nothing wrong with curry powder. Hint of cinnamon, not too much. Cumin, garlic powder, chili powder, onion powder in there, and just a bloody smidgen Just a smidgen because this will spoil the dish. <laughs> Just some ground allspice. And you wanna cook out the spices on a low heat for about five minutes. Just for them to, you know, get to know each other. Right, I've turned the heat off. That's done, five minutes. Smells amazing. So I'm gonna blend some things now. So put that to one side. And I'm going to get my blender. So I did tomatoes. I got some uh, shallot. Garlic. Where's my other ginger? Ginger. When you do pour that tomato in the pan, it does look funky. Give it a mix, and look now. It, it, oh, wish you could smell this, but look, look, look. 
But look, when you give it a stir, it turns a nice brown color. Right, so now add some stock, beef stock, and a bay leaf. You want to bring this baby up to a boil. I've had the bay leaf in, bring it up to a boil and simmer. Look at this now. It's dark, it's rich, it's packed full of flavor. The bay leaf's done its job. Do I add cream? Do I add cream? Do I not add cream? Does it need cream? Oh, done it. Why not? It won't hurt it. It'll just add some richness. I can't find a spoon. Where's a bloody spoon? All right, I'm gonna use your baby spoon. Man, that is good. I'm, 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 I'm serious. That is delicious. Got a bit of a, it's got a bit of a kick. Kick. Yeah. Gonna need to season it, and that is amazing. I'm, I'm glad I had the cream in there as well. Here, have your spoon. Thank you. Just got a little bit of spare chicken. Seriously, it's like a, it's like a bloody dog zoo. There's more dogs living here than bloody humans. Oh, it's shut up now. Right, I've got some room temperature uh, chicken. Don't cook this cold. And I've decided to uh, grill it. So yeah, I, I, I just want to keep it very simple. Salt and pepper and let the sauce and the sweet potatoes do the work. So yeah. So olive oil on the chicken. Salt and pepper. Get them on the grill. Alright, sauce is done, sweet potatoes are done, chicken's resting, and I can hear them bloody dogs. I tell you what Frank, you're the last bloody dog I'm going to have. No more dogs. What? That's not very nice. Why are you saying that for Frankie? He's, he's our dog. What happened? He's the best one. Look. Right, the best part. Plating up and eating. Granted, it's not the prettiest dish in the world, but it's packed full of flavor. There's bags of flavor in this bowl right here. Um, I've topped it off. I've topped it off with uh, cilantro. Um, finished it off with some uh, avocado and uh, some pistachio nuts for a little bit of saltiness. So I'm just going to tuck it. I'm going to get one of these sweet potatoes and that sauce. Some of the chicken, a little pistachio, avocado, get on. I love the combo with the curry sauce and the sweetness of the potatoes and um, the texture of the pistachios also gives it a nice saltiness and the avocado, it's a nice compliment, it just all works. So, like I said before, it's not a written recipe, it's actually my supper. Um, it's about getting in the kitchen and inspiring you to do stuff like this. Amazing. That is supper sorted. See, it? Oh, you all right? Thanks guys. What are you doing? 